turn on here? We're gonna make paper. <gasps> this is this is the offcuts from the printers. So yeah. a lot of the time with offset printing, you have to do these bleeds, and this is all the little bits that come off, so that the job looks really nice. And it's a bit of a waste. Most printers, though, they're pretty good and they recycle them. But I thought we could have a go at turning this into our own recycled paper. Okay. Have you guys never made paper before? No, no. You've never made paper. There's heaps of paper around. What kind of primary it? school upbringing did you have? I didn't go to school. That's pretty obvious. But let's just, okay, okay. let's do it. Basically, all we need is a bucket. Mm. We need to fill it with water. We need to actually make a pulp. Is this all we can make paper out of? No, we can make paper out of anything. Anything, anything? cellulose. Anything that's made with a cellulose. So I'm doing anything with a fiber. Well, a cellulose based fiber out of it. Cotton? So, In fact, cotton was one of the things that they made paper out of for years. Okay, so if I've always been wondering something that I could do with my old underpants once they've been, shall we say, once they've had their time in the sun. Right, once they've got a little bit of too many holes in them. Well, perhaps, and they'll, you know, Vinnie's won't take them. Can I be making paper out of my old underpants? You could, Nick, you could. Perhaps, perhaps you could. I don't want to have anything to do with you making paper out of your own underpants. I'll send you a note. Not a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have a crack at it. How hard could it be? What, your underpants? <laughs> so what do we need? Underpants. Your underpants. Okay, so we've got underpants here. They are clean. Yeah, I'm gonna have to those go. <laughs> no, seriously. I favour the under deck, but these well look they're just getting a little There's bit. There's just too much you know, exposure to your personality. Right, okay. we, take, we take our stuff, we take our material, whatever that's underpants or flag or this, we blend that to a pulp with water. We then what sieve it and dry it out and that's a sheet. You got yourself a sheet of paper. Do you reckon you can do it, Nick? I think we can do it. Alright. Let's do it. Right. I'm okay, gonna go get okay. this stuff. Nick, you stay there, play with If you've got old underpants, the what do you do with them? It's it's the rags. That you're turning them into rags, so you might as well. My dad just can. collects them. Your dad <laughs> He doesn't do it. He doesn't do anything with them. He does not even take them to the garage and like, you know, they become like Oh no, he does they do Give me a rag! <laughs> You find you're reaching <laughs> and you go, oh, oh. Dad! <laughs> I just picked up Dad's old underpants. <laughs> I think I need a coffee. <laughs> I'm not doing this, so you guys need to cut up your underpants. That's my job, hello! Alright, what you need to do is we need to break down the fibres, so if you want to use break that. Break down blender, the fibres, we're going to blend them up. Yeah, so blend take, my underpants. I just touched them. Take the elastic because that's not going to work. Cut yeah. them up into really, really small pieces. Like the smaller they are, the easier it's going to be to blend. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to make my own paper. So I'm, like I said, not touching those. Like, like, when I was a kid, we used to just get newspaper and, and just rip it up into shreds and throw that in the water and then blend it up. But um, you can use any old paper really to make new paper. It's amazing, isn't it? How are you going with your underpants? Cutting? Oh, they're getting sliced. These aren't going to be. Is it liberating again? I don't find it so much liberating, actually. It's I find not sad. like burning your bra. No, not so much. Well, though, maybe, who knows? I think some of those ladies probably were a little sad. Bras are expensive, a lot more expensive than underpants. Hey, blend. Do you want to blend? <laughs> Move aside. Whoa! <laughs> this is really good, but it's a little bit thick, see? If mm -hmm. we, um. A bit more. That's what we need, like postage like really, stamp size? Yeah, just small. The smaller the better because it's going to make it a lot easier. It's not going in a blender. <laughs> I mean, it's going in a blender. <laughs> okay, fine. You just chuck it in, let's see what happens. Alright, hang on. The size. It doesn't let's work. cut up a little right. bit more. Okay. Alright, alright. We'll leave that a little bit for later. Crutch. Oh well, maybe I shouldn't. Oh. <laughs> That's dust, alright? <laughs> dust. A little dust. Forgive me. Not a lid. Yeah, it's a lid there. The piece of wood. Piece of wood. That's a lid. Yes. I've just made but the there's... lid. Are we ready? All right. So you got to keep blending whilst we blend. All right. Happy days. <laughs> <laughs> we got some. We got some undy fiber. Okay. We just need to give it a bit more go. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's going to do. Because because someone didn't cut it small enough. You really? Yeah. So really small the postage stamp. We want tiny fractionelles. Well, the smaller we cut it beforehand, the easier it's going to be. See, I thought there was going to be a time-saving thing in just chucking it in the blender. I think you're just being lazy. <laughs> that was really weird. Isn't that why we have tools? Sam, what was the lesson we just learned from uh, from Nick there? If you're going to make paper with fiber, don't let Nick near the tools. No. <laughs> Take two on the underpants <laughs> blending. Uh, here we go. How do you make that work? Oh! <laughs> If you just persevere, it might work, you never know. Yeah, you gotta persevere. In the meantime, I actually think, see the fibres are still kind of quite together. 
Let's give one a go and see how it turns out. And if it doesn't work, we can always get into some more. Shoot your people, woman. All you need is a wire mesh or a screen. It essentially is a drain, a sieve. Because we want to just collect the Could you make one out of, out of a pitch frame? You most certainly could. This one's got a handle. That's gonna, it's gonna create our frame. If we don't have a frame, then... What holds the frame together? My hands. Okay. Yeah. Okay, my hands. Okay. So, we just wanna... Oops. Wow, that's thick. I think we need more water. It's just one thing. Right. Yeah, and I just got a little excited and I just ruined my paper. <laughs> Let's scoop some of this into that so there's more water, less fibre. So the fibres don't change. You have to blend it more to get to the fibres. How about we do this? How about I put some fibres in there and I make him keep blending this and we do an experiment to see who makes the better paper. You're on. <laughs> Are you coming in? Oh, I'm getting there. There's a few long strandy bits that just, they just don't want to be cut. I got paper. You got it, That was fabulous. I'm so excited. And that's like, it's like barely a millimetre thick. <laughs> it's, you can see it. And look, it's not falling this time. There you go. Hey. And then I need to just transfer this paper onto um, something to dry. It kind of looks, it's the colour of lint. It does, so. it looks, it looks a little bit like something that came out of the, um, <gasps> out of the lint dryer. Fiber. <laughs> this is what we should be doing. Sam, where's your dryer? Yeah. <laughs> where's your belly button? <laughs> no excuses, right, let's, let's get it right first time. Try. Look, there's a little bit of um, a little bit of uh, a little bag, fiber. a little bit of bag there. All right, so I'm just gonna press this. And it wants to stick to the cotton. It doesn't want to stick to the exactly. The wire. It doesn't want to stick to the wire. It doesn't like the wire. It's the wire. It's like those accents. I can't understand it. It's coming. 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 Yay! Yeah. All right. So I'm just gonna. Sam's speechless. <laughs> Sam's like, I think I'm I... fucked. Okay. So I'm just gonna go pop this. That's our first sheet of paper. It is. Hang on. Is that how we use the word our first sheet of yeah, paper? Yeah, I was just going to say, actually, I'm pretty sure it's Layla's first sheet of paper. Your paper, well. Nick, on the other hand, it's on its way. It's coming along nicely. <laughs> What's happening here? <laughs> adding chemicals to help the process. That is not a natural chemical reaction. What have we done? Yeah, it's made from natural things. <laughs> Made for things found on Earth. I like green. Oh. Yeah, we're killing this blender. We're killing the poor blender. It's gone on. It's a little bit smoky. It's like it's gone. A little bit smoky. I think we burnt you. Right? I think we burnt you. Why do we blend this out? I'm going to put it onto my glass. You don't have glass. Underneath this. Right. Oh. To get it nice and flat. Where did you learn about that, Sam? Paper man. Paper man told you to use. Hand rip it a little bit and then yeah. we'll hand blend it. Right. Well, stand it? aside. Okay. When we say aside. Don't get your knickers in a knot, Sam. Now that is knickers in a twist. That's the ultimate knickers in a twist, Jamie. Yeah, it's looking, it's looking fibrous. Make sure you're um, Both hands, yeah. 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 Oh, that's kind of sad. Sad and unfriendly. So you go in and come, go, go in and come up like flat. That's better. It's better. Do you mind? No, no, no. Let's give it a pretty chunky. See, see, Look at that. Mm -hmm. It's kind of chunky, I'd say. It's, <laughs> it's kind of gross, is what it is. <laughs> it's kind of chunky. It kind of looks a little bit like blood, but we know it's your old underpants. Which is worse. <laughs> what if we let it settle a little? Do you have a thinner mesh? No. Oh. No, as in, do you have a piece of mesh, like um, fly screen? No. Mm. 
<laughs> Are you sure you can <laughs> fly screen? That's a good question. Uh, yeah, well, I do have, I, I don't have a bit of I think we should still put this out to dry. What do you reckon? Yeah? Oh, I think we should put it out I think, to dry. I think this would still make a very nice gift card. Do you want thinner Maybe or for thicker? A, a, a for someone you don't like. you've a protracted legal battle with, say. Or an ex-business associate. With what about ex-girlfriend ex or boyfriend? I think it says it. I think it says, I hate your guts perfectly. Thicker or thinner? Underpants, teamwork, underpants, paper. Team undies. <laughs> you get the letter. <laughs> I need paper. I don't want your letter. It's so frustrating if you're in the Middle Ages and you'd spend what weeks and months of your life spinning bits of flax into enough linen to turn yourself a tunic, height of fashion, to then die of plague and have someone else take your tunic and beat it for weeks against a rock so they can just turn it into a piece of paper. What could be worse? Because you'd be dead at play, so you wouldn't care so much. Let's see, if, uh, let's see if Nick can make his own undie paper. Alright, Nick, use the right. smaller one, I reckon. I think you're right. We've destroyed a blender, but things are not lost yet. Now, you've shown me the action. It's a kind of scoopy action. Yeah. And you reckon that maybe a couple of them. I think because your fibres are a lot thicker than, yeah, than let's say, the paper fibres. Thick fibers. manly fibres from thick manly underpants. Okay, Thank you. Up. Uh, oh, that's pretty good. One more? I can one more. Except for the back thing. Yeah. Cocked out a little bit. One more. It works. <laughs> <That's better. laughs> it's got worse. Let's try again. You guys are so good. Can I, I just try again? Yeah, you're, you're, you're just a little bit brute force, is it? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to be a bit more gentle. Can I just say you're doing this? <laughs> so less than that. Okay, I just think Try, try again. Yeah, that's, yeah. Or the reality is, is we just accept that Layla's a good paper maker. We can also do that. It's a raw shash ink blood test. Okay, I think what you're doing is too late for you. Ah, here we go. I'll show you. Yes, yes. Okay. I think the, I think the note enough. that we weren't getting, I think that's enough for if you. I can say, that I was going all the way down to the bottom, I didn't need to go all the way yeah. down to the bottom, I just need to scoop off the top. Okay, just turn it to its side, so we're going to drain, see, no, no, just one side, yeah. just leave that for a few seconds, we're going to drain that off. When we press it, I reckon you're going to, you're going to get a much evener. Um, a much more even. <laughs> Distribution. <laughs> Did a I much say? more even piece of paper. I think even is fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nutty paper. <laughs> <laughs> There's a gag from behind the camera. Okay, I'll take down and just blot it. Give it a blot. You know what? You've just relived a 2,000 year old thing. Is that why I'm feeling so old? <laughs> I've got so from the damn bacon. respect for wow. these people who used to make paper like this. This was not something you do casually on a Monday afternoon. This was, you know, if you were doing this, you were doing this because this piece of paper really mattered. Shit, Sam's papers looks really good. <laughs> Sweat How fun was paper making? Paper making was a blast. We're gonna look like twats. <laughs> it's amazing what an edit will do. Yes. <laughs>